capitalist. Hey, let's favor the capitalist for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll see um, Scandinavia unify this camp. Just because Denmark's a great power, and, and really there's not much threat from from the Prussians. I mean, I don't. I don't even know if we can intervene in uh, Leschwig Holstein, or if only Russia can. It might be a Prussian exclusive thing. Near Mecklenburg? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see reason not to. You're already in my sphere of influence, and so we might as well be friends. And here's the thing, like, we do actually have a cost of ability against Serbia. It's important to note that they're not actually allied to Russia. They're just in their sphere of influence. Could we beat Russia 126? or one th We do a bigger army than they do. I feel like our military attack right now is actually probably lagging behind a lot. 10, and you guys are at 12, yeah. Our military tech's just not that good, because we've been spending so much of our time focusing on culture tech, that we actually do take a 10% penalty, too. After this, we definitely need to get up to at least, you know, level 15. Is there any more... I mean, is there any reason not to just invest money in every single country? One reason um, would be if you go to war with them, putting money into the, their economy probably isn't beneficial to you. But when, let's, say, let's say the Ottoman Empire. We know in about 1870, 1880, there's going to be an event where they're going to make all of Europe pissed off at them, which makes them basically hostile to everyone. And if that happens, we can easily sphere the Ottoman Empire without too much uh, repercussion. Aside from that... I mean, you also do get some, uh, industry power as well. What about Mexico? Let's throw a little bit of money into Mexico. Why not throw some money into Venezuela? We maybe one they can try to try to steer them, even though it might be, uh, unlikely. You'd be done in... a little less than a year from now. Everyone wants to fear the Rhineland, which is not a big surprise. I mean, the Rhineland's a rather industrial zone. Is at war. Portugal's at war with, uh... Yeah, they want to take over all of uh, Mozambique. They should get that done relatively soon. Arlis are currently facing some uh, problems of their own. Invest in South America? We could invest in South America. Is there anywhere else we can invest? A little bit in Bolivia. Is there anybody here who's not in a sphere of influence? Argentina and Brazil are not. Or the other opposed to the Americans. Argentina is opposed to the United States. You know what? Who are we influencing actually right now? We're not actually trying to... You know what, Argentina? Congratulations. You're going to be my... Uh, my Austrian, my, my South American ally here. Let's invest a lot of money down in Argentina. It's also going to make the Americans much harder to invest down here in the future. We're at 20. Yeah, let's, let's improve relations with you. Is there anything else we can do? We can we could build some factories. But instead of building factories, I'm just going to open up your factory. Right, let's just build like a cement factory and then open everything else up. But $48,000 in the country, Argentina has no military, no prestige. Um, but eventually they will kind of take all of this territory. We can only see they've already grown. And Brazil, cordial with the British. Let's put some money in there as well. Even, even just like one fact is enough for us to be at 100%. And then Chile as well. You're friendly with the French. Okay, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Friendly with the French. Hostile with everybody. So, you know, let's put points in the Paraguay as well. Less points than Brazil or Argentina. And you're cordial with the British, but that shouldn't really matter so much. We do see the Americans are putting a little bit of points into Brazil right now. At least just enough actually to get out of a pose. Eh, nope, they're, they're, they're coming back with a vengeance. 
Get caught up Paraguay for now. Focus heavily on Brazil. We're now getting more points than the Americans are, so they don't want to even try to fight us. Yeah, so Brazil and Argentina. Both pretty good countries having your state of influence. Mostly Brazil, because they have a lot of uh, natural resources and a pretty large population that would definitely be beneficial. What are you missing? You are missing one artillery. Okay, we'll build an artillery just to finish you out. And actually, we can build another army. Let's get that going. The rest of the troops basically, I think, should be fine. 48 stacks a little bit more wobbly than the rest, but not a big... What are you missing? You're missing two artillery. And you actually have two cavalry. Okay. Well, we can worry about that in the future. Why are you not building immediately? You need small arms? We're actually not buying small arms. Buy 176 small arms, thank you. And also buy... 160 ammunition? Why not? Get them all building immediately. The Austro-Hungarian army it might be a little bit backwards. But we'll have, uh... We'll have a lot of units. I mean, that kind of works in our favor. Any more projects? Yes. Build and expand. Expand whatever we can. Do you have some German pan nationalists in Oldenburg? And Bremen as well. Are you going to defeat the rebels? Yes. Barely, but you did. Of course, German pan nationalists are probably actually like one of our biggest fears right now because I'm not too sure how exactly they would release Germany. If they offer me the crown in the gutter, I probably won't take it because I want it from the Nubian Federation. Oh, Oldenburg, whose fear are you in? You're not in anybody's fear. You're actually neutral with everyone. Nobody cares about you. Yeah, we walk on their fealty. Oh, they destroyed my sphere of influence immediately. Okay, well, thank you very much. Makes my life easier. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Do we have anybody in the field of influence? No, they're just allied with us. Okay, Brazil, we can get you up to Cordial now. Again, the bridge right Cordial, I don't think they're going to try to really fight us on this. And I'm glad they're not going to fight us, so I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight them. Apparently, you're Cordial at Mecklenburg. Why Mecklenburg? I don't. I don't really know. Apparently, Holstein actually just got their independence. Okay, I mean, I guess that works out well for us. Norway, like, keeps on breaking out of the Danish of influence. Not really too sure why that keeps happening, but... Got one artillery. Go to this army, the 36 stack. Why don't you come down to here? I mean, is there a reason to have all these troops on the German border? No, right? Like, we're not going to be fighting against them anytime soon. Like this. Am I giving you military access yet? No, Russia, get the hell out of here. I mean, Russia does like us. At least for the time being. Next, move you all down to one more province. The thing with Prussia is that we're not scared of Prussia. They're little, they're little babies. They can't do anything to stop us. One prestige. You appreciate it, Argentina. We can now get you up to cordial as well. You're getting point or yeah, point two eight. National continent relations. Improve relations with Brazil. Improve relations with Argentina as well. 
The more they like us, the better. Oh, regional trade fair. Yeah, I spent twenty-five thousand dollars on that. I see no reason not to. Okay, so there are some pan nationalists here. Uh, I need you guys to give me military access so I can actually deal with your rebel problems. I'll be good on you. Now let's go for another level artillery. Okay, we, lose, we lose a few men, but if it means that the Italian pan nationals are going to be just in a weaker state, then I'm happy for it. Okay, 10 prestige. Definitely will take it. You up to friendly. We're now getting 0.38. Another quick relation boost with you. Do another quick relation boost with Argentina. You're an American sphere. Apparently we lost, like, some life rating in our country, unfortunately. Uh, very sad. But, I mean, shouldn't be a big deal one way or the other. And are we actually losing much population? Yes, actually. They're mostly going to Brazil and Mexico and a little bit to the United States. I mean, if they're going to Brazil... That's kind of okay, because they're going to Brazil. They'll still be in our sphere of influence, so it's almost like they never left. Depending on how you want to look at things. Okay, thank you for the follow. Hello, annoyed engineer. Welcome. The thing is, like, I wouldn't mind just attacking Serbia. The fact that they're in the Russian sphere is a little bit annoying. We got even more Polish nationalists up here as well. We should actually be building forts along the uh, Russian border. For the obvious reason that uh, Russia is a little scary. And we're gonna, we have the cash for it. No real reason. I guess we can cut, cut military spending. We don't, need, we don't need military spending to be completely maxed out here. Twelve thousand men. You are at nine thousand. I mean, the Russians. Yeah, they, they have enough men to kind of deal with that situation on their own. Uh, so yeah, we'll throw you into the thirty-three stack. I wonder. Like, I'm trying to remember. I think it's like seventy-eight, roughly, is when the Ottoman Empire starts to slowly collapse. Oh, Denmark's no longer. Oh, poor Denmark. Did Japan beat them out? Yeah, Japan. Kind of forced them out of the great power list. Aww, I almost, I almost kind, of, kind of feel bad for them. I was kind of hoping to see United Scandinavia, but... Actually, I'm trying to remember, do you actually even need to be a great power to form Scandinavia? I'm trying to think back to our campaign. And to be honest, I don't quite remember if you need to be a great power or not. Be done on the 10th. Let's follow you up with the point defense system. You'll be finished on number 66. Okay. Yeah, we're only like five years roughly away from being able to form the Danubian Federation. Which I feel really, you know, quite nice, nice for us. And now that Japan is a great power. What is their plan? Probably to invade Korea. Probably put influence down here in Vietnam, which has done some weird shit. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, that at least would be my guess. Seems the most likely to me. Apparently with you, Russia's put more money into Romania. Keep on just protecting the, the, uh, the economy. Much as possible. 
Up the cordial. I mean, it's really just like get out of Mecklenburg. Point. Why on 9 4 is not very good? I mean, the, the point of the game is just becoming powerful in, in your own way, you know, industrializing. Like, we're definitely going to go to war at some point. Um, we've, we've done many wars against Prussia so far. But, like, right now, I don't I don't think any wars benefit us. It, it doesn't improve our standing at all. Only person I can think of going to war with would be the French. Or maybe the Italians, if they end up unifying, but... It doesn't seem super likely right now. They seem divided enough that I'm not worried about them. How's it getting like so few influence points? Yeah, but you're almost done. Let's pull you down to one point. Let's crank you up to maximum. You in just a mere moment. Yeah, 100. Add Brazil to our sphere of influence. Welcome, Brazil. The winning side of history. Huh? Come on, you did that. We'll get you up to friendly. You want an alliance? Not accept. That's kind of okay. I'm not too worried about that. What about you? Acted by the Russians. Russians again, they're not really allied to anyone. I would like for the Japanese and the uh, the Russians to go to war over Korea. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely one of my favorite strategy games. Japan goes to war. Let's say they go to war over Korea. They bring at. It's hard to say. The reason I think it's hard to say is that they don't have a cost of belly against Serbia anymore. But if we were to go to war with Serbia. It would bring Russia into the war more than likely. And I do think we could beat the Russians. If we had to. Especially if we call in our allies and our little vassal swarm. Well, not our, our feeling swarm, I guess, would be more, uh, more appropriate title. What do you think we can do to me? I guess we can increase Terra some more. Throw more money in tariffs. I mean, if I was to go to war with Russia, I wonder who would actually join us. Because we're allied to you know, a, a decent chunk of the world right now. Take Bosnia. I Again, I think in 1878 or something, we'll basically just get an event to just annex Bosnia for, for free. Or at least make them into a puppet for free, which I'll eventually annex. Also, apparently the Conservative Party is now just called the Iron Ring. <laughs> Excuse me. Why the Iron Ring? I don't really know. I mean, what's your population? Your population is 22 million. Would we be able to survive a Russian attack? I guess, I guess, would Japan want to be our friend though? They have no relationship bonus. And we have too many allies already, so they don't want to be our friends. Unfortunately. Mecklenburg. We need to decrease opinion of the British. It's like, just get out of here, uh, Britain. Okay, so once again, you got a vast majority of the vote. Congratulations to you. You are still only a semi-constitutional monarchy. 
after this, well, what's the next thing that people want? They want minimum... No, no, no. They want voting rights. And they want us to try to ban child labor. Okay, well... Needy much. Like, I would like to go to war with Russia just to put the United Provinces into our sphere of influence. I mean, they do really like us. Once we have, um... Argentina and Earth Fear, I think we're gonna go hard on trying to influence Romania. I, f I feel like that's beneficial. I, f I think that's gonna help us in the, uh... Long run here. Argentina, yeah, they've taken a lot more land. We'd love to see it. Uruguay. Hostile. No, they're now hostile towards us. Okay, so Paraguay wants to be friends with absolutely nobody. At 100 in mere moments. Let's get our final military tech. That'll be done in January 69. And then we just, I think, save our points. Nine, and then you will be in just a moment at 100. Add you to my sphere. Got good relations now in South America. If I was to try to put money into you, or try to put points into you, yeah, Russia immediately is like, no, 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 no. Okay, so, you know, we'll ignore you for now. But I was to go to war with you. Would anybody say no to the war? No, everyone would say yes. Again, we're, we're gonna do this do a little save. Even though I'm probably not gonna reload if things do go poorly. Who are you allied to? You're allied to Romania and uh, Spain. But you shouldn't, I, I believe at least, should not call them into a war. The question is also like, do you think I'm gonna need to mobilize? So, I think we just declared a war will humiliate you just for the fun of it. Also, because beating up Serbia as Austria is just a uh, time honor tradition. I'm going to call in all of my allies. Everybody said yes, and I think the Russians actually said no. Um, so, Russia has decided not to even help out Serbia. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Serbia. I'm looking for some denial, even though I think it already said we found it. Look at this massive swarm of units. I only called all of you in because I thought that Russia would join the war. But it turns out they, they're not joining the war. They, they just wanted to give you up. Is there anything I can do with you? Egoism's not high enough. Hello, QFabus. Welcome. I'm... We, we beat up Serbia. I would consider that to be winning. And we now have a, uh, we got a new Twitch. Kind of like Twitch overlay with Twitch setup. Aw, oh, poor Serbia. But let's, let's bring you out of the country. I just wanted to beat you up a little bit more. You also, everyone wants to humiliate them. You also want some reparation. I just want to see if there's anything we can really do against you. I mean, actually, what we could do is we could actually just, I think, full annex Serbia. It's going to be very expensive. This is, what, 22 war goal? Conquest. We could just, like, straight up annex the country. Reparations, make puppet. If we make it into a puppet, it's 10 infamy. And a lot cheaper. So do we full annex? Do we full annex Serbia for for the memes, or do we do the more rational thing and just pop it on? 
Um, Serbia, do it. Okay, you know what? That's all the convincing it takes for me. We're just going to annex Serbia. Well, Serbia, it was nice knowing you. I have no idea what's going to happen now with the events. We're going to... You will accept. Uh... Don't do this. Don't do that. 100. Let's we'll, we'll look at the humiliation. And there we go. We've now annexed Serbia right into the country. Subsidized. We now have, you know, 22 infamy is very expensive. Oh, we, we've got like a whole new um, setup going on. Let's go into Belgrade. No, Yugos yeah, there, there's no Yugos there's no room for Yugoslavia in this uh, 